Hello again and in this video we will be attempting classroom assignment number 53 which is centered on the present perfect tense. Before we dive into the assignment, let's take a moment to understand the fundamental structure of the present perfect tense. Now this tense follows the pattern subject plus has or have plus third form of the verb and it is commonly used to describe actions that have been completed at some point in the past but are relevant to the present moment. I hope you have understood present perfect tense. If your subject is singular, you will be picking has and if your subject will be plural, you will pick have with third form of the verb. So join us as we explore this tense in depth and work through some thought provoking exercises together. Let's begin. Fill in the blanks with has or have. You have cleared the test. So here it is very simple. We will pick have. Has she lost the match? So here we will be picking has. She is singular and it is a question. So our statement or question will begin with a helping verb has. He has put on weight. I have sold my old car. The bus fare has gone up. So here you need to notice that wherever our subject is singular, we are using has and where it is I, you or plural form of subject, we will be using have. Let's attempt the next question. Rewrite the following sentences in the negative form. Pritham has killed the bird. So, as I told you in the previous video, we just need to add not in our sentence and it will change into negative form. Pritham has not killed the bird. You have improved your English. You have not improved your English. The rain has stopped. The rain has not stopped. Simple. Let's move on to next question. Rewrite the following sentences in the interrogative form. So, declarative sentences have been given to you and you need to change them into questions. I have seen Vani today. As I told you earlier, simply pick up your helping verb, bring it forward and you will get your question. Have I seen Vani today? Simple. Have I seen Vani today? Alok has gone out somewhere. Simple. Bring it here. Has Alok gone out somewhere? Put a question mark at the end. The police have arrested a man for robbery. Have the police arrested a man for robbery? Simple. At the end, put a question mark. Rewrite the following sentences in the affirmative form. I have not lost my camera. So affirmative means you need to make it positive statement. I have lost my camera. Just remove not from here and you will get your affirmative form. The milkman has not come today. The milkman has come today. Have they always helped you? So change it into question. They have. They have. Sorry, let's do it like this. Remove this have from here. Put this T capital. They have always helped you. Remove this question mark and you will get your affirmative sentence. Complete the following sentences with appropriate forms of the verbs in the brackets. Dash, you read my new book. So, as we are attempting present perfect tense assignments we need to be ensure about the structure so the answer will be have you read have you read my new book no i have not seen it in the stores so 
I have not seen. Seen is third form of see. I have not seen it in the stores. Where have you been? Where have you been the whole day? I have just come back from college. So, come is again third form of the verb come. Next is, have you started? Have you started preparing for the final examination? No, I'm afraid I have not touched. Third form of touched. Touch is touched. I have not touched the book even. Let's move forward. Dash anyone dash my spectacles. So the answer would be has anyone seen my spectacles? Yes, I have kept them. I have kept them in your cupboard. I have never seen. I have never seen such a beautiful rainbow before. Have never seen. Sun, have you started? Have you started your homework mom i have already finished it i have already and third form of finishes finished it i hope you all your answers are correct put a tick against grammatically correct sentences and a cross against incorrect ones then rewrite the incorrect ones correctly so let's check whether the given sentences are correct or not we has waited for them for too long so is it correct or incorrect so this is wrong for we we always use have we have waited for them for too long so this is wrong so you can make correction here she have seen my notebook again with she we used to ha use has she has seen my notebook so this is also wrong i have never tried japanese food yeah this is absolutely correct they have gone to los angeles so this is also correct nobody has complained against him now here as per sentence structure we need to have third form of the verb which is complained. So nobody has complained against him. That will be the correct answer. So this is also wrong. Moving forward. Complete the following conversation by filling in the correct forms of the verbs given in brackets. So it is very simple. As you can see the subject you here. So our sentence will begin like this have you seen have you seen the latest movie by mani ratnam so don't put a question stop here you need to put a question mark it's a question no i have not got a chance to good i have bought the third form of buy is bought. I have bought two tickets for the evening show. How about watching it with me? Well, sounds great. But I have got to complete a whole lot of homework. Well, if you can't go, that's all right. Actually, Rita has already promised To accompany me so this is how you will be attempting your assignment based on present perfect tense 
hope all your answers are correct so keep watching keep enjoying and keep learning thank you